Hello there, beautiful souls. This is Shamama Huntingel, and I am here to share some messages with you today as we find ourselves at the end of February already. Um, the state of the world right now, as we all know, is incredibly volatile. There is a lot of fear floating around the energies with everything that is going on. I am not going to address specifically those of you, we are all aware of the political climate and what is happening right now in our world. And all I am saying is everything that is happening is happening for a reason. Um, everyone has a role to play in this ascension process, in this spiritual war that we are fighting at this time, okay? So I want us to just remember that before we cast judgment upon anything that is happening, we need to remember that we are looking at this experience from multiple dimensions on a polarity, 3D dimension, yes, things look horrific, okay? However, when we use our inner knowing, our higher higher knowledge of, of what is truly happening here, and we step out of the polarity and the judgment and take on the role as an observer, okay? We understand that everything that plays out is bringing around the awakening, the change, the new earth, okay? So please try your best to not get caught up in the who did, what did, the tyranny, the news, the media. Remember that everything is taking place as in divine order, okay? The darkness is coming more and more to the surface as our light expands. It's like the cockroaches when you flip on the light. They scatter. We can see them. Well, this is what's happening. So this, these, these quote-unquote dark events that are taking place are truly only the necessary experiences that are needed at this time in order for us to continue to awaken, for us to continue to ascend, and for us to see through the artificial matrix that we are living in, okay? So I wanna start with that. Now, the rest of this message today, my darlings, is really going to focus on the twin flame process and journey. So, for those of you who don't wanna hear it, or are going to wanna sit here and listen to it and then, bitch and argue about your dm or where you're at in the comments i'm going to ask you right now to just switch off this audio because this message is not for you okay this message is for those of us who know our truth who are divinely aligned regardless of what has happened in your physical experience with your divine counterpart that you are still committed to the process that you still understand that this person your original counterpart true counterpart um is only again playing a role in your healing they are an actor in your play and they are only serving you as your soul contract has intended for them to serve you, okay? It is when you come out of that 3D thinking and mindset about your twin, about the journey, about them hurting you and doing all of these terrible things to you, that you can step outside of understanding what all of this truly is, okay? So if in fact you are still trapped in this unforgiveness, in this whole, the lies, the cheating, the, the whatever went on. And again, I am not talking about a actual abusive, physically abusive, 
life-threatening, gaslighting relationship. I am seriously talking about your twin who has done what has needed to be done in order to help you see your own fucked up wounds that you couldn't see any other way unless the things that have happened had happened. And I can attest to this a thousand percent. I know that where I was prior to being activated at the end of 2012, okay, and then fully activated on upon physically meeting my twin in 2015, okay, that everything that has happened, regardless of how painful or how fucked up it looks, has been for my highest, greatest good. That I was in such a not, I was in such a state of wearing my mask so well, I couldn't see my own shit. And I never realized prior to that how fucking broken and wounded I actually was. And so my twin allowed me to see the wounds, things that I had never been able to see. And those gifts that this person had given me and has continued to give me through this journey, through separation, through all of it has been the biggest blessing I could ever have asked for. Because it has truly allowed me to transform my life. And I honestly don't know who or where I would be if it wasn't for this fucking beautiful, painful, but beautiful experience that I've had. So those of you who are still here listening to me at this point, this is the space that I want you to get in right now. If you are going to continue to listen to this with me, okay? I want you to see past the 3D shit. I want you to see past the whatever deceptions have happened. Now, that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that we see past it in the way that dishonors us. Okay, I want to make that really clear right now. We see past it because we understand the greater, bigger purpose of all of these experiences. That doesn't mean we forget the experiences that have happened. And that doesn't mean that we sacrifice ourselves on the sword of martyrdom or victimhood in in committing to our journey or our divine counterpart. This is all about coming into our own power. This is all about integrating what we see in our divine counterpart into ourselves. So what this means is, and I was sharing this with someone the other day, um, and so my masculine, I'm going to use myself as an example. I always prefer to speak from my own experiences with you guys, and you know that. So with my divine counterpart, okay, there are these very, um, there there are these qualities about him that no matter what, okay, I have admired and adored in him um, since the beginning. I always saw his strength, his commitment, his dedication, um, his, his fearlessness and his, his ability to get shit done. I was always like in awe of that because it was always something that, ha ha, here's the mirror. I myself felt I lacked in my own experience. Yes, I was strong. Yes, I was resilient. Yes, I was all of those things, but in a very different way. And and so these qualities that I saw and explored and developed 
on this journey, I have seen where I have been able to incorporate these amazing qualities, not even incorporate, but develop them and find them within myself and realize that the things that I love about him are truly represented, representative, represented, represented in myself but I couldn't find those in me underneath all of my feminine wounds because the masculine in my life in my experience as a young child in my formative space was so wounded by the masculine as well as the dominant feminine energies in my life So all of this early wounding, all of these betrayals from my primary caregivers, from my primary role models, from the system that I was raised in, from religion to school to to society, to all of it, really fucked me up. But I never understood it and I never really saw it. And I always had a good heart, but I never understood how really broken I was until I started this journey. And so with that, I am so grateful in all of this. So getting back to, so I was having this discussion the other day with a friend um, and I was, and he was, you know, he is a, he is a divine feminine energy on the twin flame journey he and i have been friends from way way back in the day and we lost contact for the last few years recently he's popped back in and as soon as he popped back into my world lo and behold like the twin flame signs and synchronicity started for him again he had um for lack of a better word decided to abandon or hang up his twin flame journey and move on to his spiritual journey like many of us had you know like the divine counterpart thing wasn't happening um and he had gone on and met someone else and has been in a beautiful relationship with a soulmate now for a couple years and so he and I were talking about you know uh, me and my relationships and the fact that still to this day um four years after being in separation from my twin physical separation not walking away um, and not being in a, a intimate physical relationship with him that I still haven't been with anyone else yes I've dated um, I've dated maybe three people over the course of the last four and a half years they lasted all about maybe a week or two at the most um, and never went anywhere. And it wasn't because I wasn't open to the experiences because honestly and truthfully, I was always open. But the vibration was never there. The dynamic was never right. And um, there was always something missing, always something missing. It just never was it. And so he was questioning, you know, me holding myself back and that I was blocking myself and yada, 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 yada. And I was just laughing because there was so much judgment in this and okay, whatever, you can believe what you want. And, but I know my truth and I know what I'm open to and what I'm not open to. And yes, even though I know my truth and I know that my twin and I will be together again, because I know that we have divine mission to do. Um, I wasn't just waiting. I was experiencing. I was being open to allow and, you know, the good old, I was cock blocked every step of the way. And and I know why that was because I was shown that in a past life, I was the one, I mean, we've all been in our past lives, the good and the bad, right? We've all been the, 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 the awakened twin first and the not awakened twin first. So we've all done things to hurt each other, right? And I was shown that this lifetime, the way the dynamics played out, it was my turn to to have to pay back the karma, in a sense, that I had created in the dynamics with my counterpart in past lives. I wasn't always the good guy, right? I have hurt him and I have hurt him. And 
So there was karma to be made up for in, in these periods that we have gone through. And so, you know, as he was, and I were talking, I said, you don't understand. I said, it's, it's less about him and more about finding him within me. And I have found that those qualities, that beautiful balance of literally hearing his voice. And I'm not just talking about telepathic communication. I am talking about when I am doing my daily activities, writing, whatever I'm doing, creating content, I can feel and hear the person he is now integrated within my human vessel. Now, does that mean um, I am fully integrated in myself? I don't fucking know. Does that mean that, does that mean that he is coming? Yes. Yes. Because I believe that when we, the feminine, get to a certain level of our alignment, okay? When we get to a, I'm going to say about an 80 I'm going to range it from 75 to 85% level in our healing journey on our own, okay? When we can say that we spend more of our time in the place of observing and higher understanding and surrender to it all than we do in a place of questioning, doubting, and fearing it all, that is when the door unlocks. That is when your divine counterpart can, can step through and, and their veil of illusion will be shattered. Okay. That, and I'm going to tell you guys, I'm just going to suggest for those of you who are not on Patreon, those of you who don't know what Patreon is, um, Patreon is an alternate platform in which you can subscribe. There are tiers of donation for the levels of um, rewards that you receive. It goes from a dollar to $22 a month, you guys, okay? And what I'm gonna say about that, <clears throat> Jesus, hang on. Mm. Ha ha ha. This is me having my throat chakra act up because I'm not comfortable with pushing and plugging my Patreon and really encouraging you guys to get on there because the content that there, that's there is so important and so good. And not to toot my own horn, you guys, but those of you who are not there are really missing out. So, um, you know, if you just want to hear about your divine counterpart, you know, but if you want to do the work and really understand that's the place to get the messages, you guys. That's the place where you can connect with me one-on-one -on -one and have questions answered. And um, anyway, so today I posted on there a video. And it's super important. And it's a message of the cards. <clears throat> and the messages all week have been about the feminine's glow up. And today had a lot to do with the masculine and what is going on. So I would definitely encourage you guys, please, 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 you know, if you are on this journey and you are struggling, if you are needing fresh eyes, different insights, please pop over there. The card of the day is there every day. There are weekly messages of longer readings. There are healing sessions. I did an activation on on the 222, okay, portal. And four of you from Patreon watched it, okay? Um, I don't know what's going on, you guys. And, and, and the four people who watched it, I, I appreciate you and I thank you for, for being there and supporting the work I'm doing for you guys. Um, and I truly hope that you got the highest benefits from that. But, you know, you guys, what I'm telling, what I, why I'm saying this is because, oh, I'm seeing and hearing a lot of bitching and moaning and complaining going on in the community. 
And But what I'm not seeing is a lot of people putting in the effort. And so, you know, you want answers, you want this, you want that. But you're not doing the work yourself. You know, um, I have quite a few feminines that have been in my sessions lately who are judging their masculines as of late for the karmic bullshit that the masculine is still involved in. And yet these feminines are not realizing that they are mirroring their masculines to a T, settling for things that are less than, um, fearing financial losses and settling for things that are not doing them their highest service. So, so I want you guys to remember, you know, you got to come back to the space. You got to come back to the place of seeing yourself, observing yourself. All right. So I think I totally went off on a fucking tangent and I have no idea where I am at this point. Okay. So I'm just going to jump to the next thing that I want to talk about you guys. Um, And that is the timelines and the timelines through this February month have literally been smashing together. The movement of time has been ridiculous. Um, There have been glitches that I have been seeing, you know, looking at the clock one second and it says one time the next minute and it says something earlier um, or something much later. It's, and literally just spending moment, like hours of time in, in a completely spaced out zone where I don't even know what I've done and hours have flown by or time where I've done, you know, so much. And it's only been a few moments where it's like, how could I have accomplished all of those things in such a short period of time? So it's been very, very strange. Um, and what I've been shown is literally these timelines are all smashing together. And it looks like a bad shuffle of the tarot deck. So you guys all know that when you shuffle the deck and the cards don't shuffle right, and they kind of just all like smash together and you're trying to force the deck back into a nice solid pile. This is what the timelines are doing. They're crashing into each other. And it's a forceful integration that is this is not a gentle integration that is taking place this is not a smooth transfer in the timelines now maybe for some of you it is but for many of us it is not and so there is this very forceful aggressive um crashing together and many of us are feeling this okay many things in this smashing and crashing are beginning to shatter, okay? That is why these timelines are feeling so forceful, okay? Because they are required to create a disturbance in the force. It is literally crumbling the false templates. So anyone who has been in a situation with their divine counterpart where there has been a karmic involved, okay, especially a karmic that um, seems to be cloaking themselves as the divine feminine, okay, that seems almost, and I don't want to use the term false because it's not really a false twin, it's a lower vibrational energy using a false mask of the feminine okay these masks are falling off they are melting away again i you know the reading this morning um uh, the first card was was shattered and it was of a lollipop and i could see these timelines just smashing this lollipop, heartbreaking, disintegrating, and then everything dissolving. Like the sugar, like, like what is that? That, that, oh, like, um, rock candy, right? Like rock candy, like a lollipop, like rock candy. And you put it in water, warm water, and it just dissolves, right? There's nothing left. This is what's happening until we get integrated into one timeline. Okay? 
this is beautiful you guys absolutely beautiful so and this is coming at the perfect time because we have the Pisces new moon next week I think it's on Tuesday if I'm not mistaken Pisces water sensitivity emotions there is going to be between now if you haven't started feeling it over the last few days through this new moon the end of next week a massive purge of the masculine energies okay there is going to be a huge increase in sensitivity within ourselves and within our environments i'm seeing like a raw nerve okay a a a uncoated electrical wire that is literally going to be reactive potentially to everything happening around them so there is going to be this massive increase in sensitivity and and in that more purging and more karmic crumbling is happening and it's going to be some heavy bad shit you guys um again for the masculine so remembering your inner masculine in that this is not just your counterpart whatever your inner masculine is holding on to that is karmic please hear this now it's gonna fucking shatter it's gonna crumble and it's gonna come piling down upon you so feel the darkness this pisces moon is going to allow us to feel those emotions because we are going to be so close to the darkness with the new moon we are coming face to face with the hidden dark corners of our mind our heart and our fucking souls okay we are ready to fucking smash this you guys now i am emphasizing those of you who are originally termed as first and second waivers this message is most important for you now i know we've lost the term and this is why i use it so loosely first and second waivers because we really don't go by waves anymore okay because the timelines because the way the healing has come in everybody is doing things at their own pace however in order to have a better understanding of who this is for it is for those of you who have been on this journey activated since the late teen, 1900s okay since the, i mean since the like 1990s 1900s oh my god jesus christ what am i saying see i can't even since the late 1990s okay if that's when your initial activation happened up and through i am going to say 2016 anyone activated in those time spans this message is for you you are coming into this window of 75 to 85 percent healing and that means your union window is opening or is open i should say for this year through next year okay now again do not hold me to the timelines because we know the shifts are happening very quickly everybody does things in their own time and in their own way if you decide today that you're done i'm settled at 75 percent 80 percent healing and i'm not doing any more work this may not pertain to you okay so remember this now what i am also going to share is a little personal account of what why i know okay beyond the fact of knowing and receiving these downloads okay and having my higher self you know share these messages along with spirit the other night okay today is what is today i don't even know i think it's saturday it's saturday so i am going to say i believe this was two evenings ago thursday evening thursday evening i believe it was um i had woken up at about i don't know three 
30 in the morning, which is not uncommon for me, you guys. No, I don't sleep real well. I get lots of downloads. We all do, right? This is what we go through at night. Um, oh, and I want to say just leading up to this this past week, I started having those flashes of heat again and and the ridiculous amounts of sweating at night. Um, but the hot flashes, and no, it's not menopause. These are ascension symptoms. These are These are the divine masculine trying to come in to cool to cool the heat that they are experiencing so that they bring it into the feminine. And I did a video about this a long time ago, about the heat flashes and the coolness and how the, the masculine comes to the feminine with all of this heat and the feminine is the cooling waters for that. Anyway, okay, getting back to the story. So I've been having these heat flashes, blah, 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 blah. So I knew something was coming. I wake up on, I believe it was, I think it was Thursday evening in the middle of the night. So that would have been like Thursday night, Friday morning. Um, and I hear a very, I get a very, first of all, I wake up with a very shocking, like jarring boom and a pain in my fucking head that was absolutely like excruciating. Um, and it jarred me out of my fucking sleep. And so I'm like, okay, spirit, I know you got something to say, so let me have it. And I was then guided um, to to do some things, okay? And I'm not getting into detail with what those are. I was guided by some signs and synchronicities, which I followed, and I found out some, I w- so, and, and through those, some very interesting messages were revealed to me, Okay. And I am telling you that from firsthand experience, without giving away too much information at this point, the divine masculines are making some very bold, very, very fucking bold moves at this time, okay? They have their plans in order. As a matter of fact, what I heard was they have had their intentions and plans in order for months now. If you did not get to watch the video that I did about two months ago about the karmic unraveling, okay, I suggest you go and listen to that because the message today and the message I received Thursday backed that all up 100%. Um, what I will add in you know detail to that message is that the karmic partners have gone off the fucking deep end, okay? They have pulled the trigger and that trigger has allowed the masculine to pop the fuck off. The masculine has been pushed to their limit and is doing what they had, what their souls are leading them to do. They are also realizing, and again, this is what we've been saying for months now, that anything that they have built with the karmic partner was poisoned, was toxic, and needs to go. So they are also, um, um, uh, what's the word uh, getting rid of it's not getting rid of is in the word the spirit is showing me like washing away all of that shit that they have that they have accumulated with the karmic um uh, our bell has gone off this bell has gone off because the divine feminine has awakened a new piece of themselves in their own glow up The divine feminine has been able to integrate their masculine into themselves. This integration, and this is why I shared all of that story with you before, this integration is like a turn on for the masculine. And I mean, not just a light switch turn on, but an actual physical sexual turn on for the masculine in seeing their feminine glow. They're seeing that magnetism of the feminine being in their power 
and it is allowing them to step into their power. So you guys, I am sharing all of this. Um, Take what you want. Leave the rest. I do not want a bunch of nasty comments. So I'm going to tell you now, if you're going to put a bunch of shit, don't bother. I'm going to delete it. I love you all and I respect you all and your opinions. So if you have something to say, say it nicely. Say it in a, in a, in a appropriate way and share your thoughts. But what I am sharing with you are the downloads and the actual physical evidence that I have been given in the last few days of what's going on. Okay. And with that, oh, there's one more thing I did want to talk about you guys. How long have we been talking? Let's see. It's been a while. All right. I'm going to talk about one more thing and then I'm going to let you go. I want to talk about the shift in free will to divine will and what that means in the surrender process. Okay. And this again plays into all the dynamics that are happening. Okay. So this is the last thing we are all born with free will. We are also all born with amnesia and believing that we are separate from that which has created us. Okay. And we go through our lives living our free will and we always have free will. It never goes away. However, once we begin to awaken and once we do our healing and once we realize that everything actually is the will of the divine, because we came here with a specific purpose, with a incarnation plan of what we wanted to accomplish here. That is our divine will of what we are here to do. And yes, when we awoke it, when we came here, when we incarnated, we had this amnesia, we believe in free will. As we awaken, we start to understand that we are given a choice. The choice is to live in a matrix or to fulfill our mission, the will we gave ourselves, the will we came here to create for ourselves, the divine will, the will of the divine. We surrender to that plan because now we have complete faith in our in ourselves and in what we came here to do our free will then becomes surrendered to the flow of living in divine will now i hope this makes sense for you guys but we we never fully give up our free will because we always can make our choices for ourselves however when we awaken when we ascend we then realize that our only will is the will of the divine. It's what we came here to do. And we then relinquish control over needing to know how it's going to go down. We trust that in that sacred plan of the divine and we surrender to it. That free will becomes divine purpose, divine will within ourselves. So you guys, I am going to end it there. I love you all. Please check out the Patreon. Please, you guys, you know, um, subscribe, share, comment. I love you and I am here for you always. I am here for sessions and everything else. Got some very exciting things coming up, you guys, um, that are in the works behind the scenes that I will be revealing over the next, we'd say in about a month from now. So um, keep your eyes posted on that. And I love you and I am grateful for you all for being here. So have a beautiful weekend beautiful Pisces moon, and we will talk again soon. I love you guys. Bye-bye.